Hello. Hello from Bryson City, North Carolina. Um, we are getting ready to start lesson number two. I am setting stuff up, getting ready here. Today we are going to be doing wire drawings. And you might ask, what does that entail? Well, I have some wire. So that's sort of what we're going to be drawing today. Hold on, I've got the <laughs> I've got the uh, intermittent pause from the internet here. So, but yeah, so we're going to be doing some wire drawings today. Um, so I have my wire here, my roll of wire. Um, wire drawings are a great exercise um, to help train your hand-eye coordination. So you're looking at the wire, and um, you're basically drawing what you see. Um, it's also, don't forget today is St. Patrick's Day. Hooray! Um, so I got a little something fun we're going to do at the end with our wire drawing involving some, some color. Um, if you have crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever, whatever you have available to color with, highlighters, um, you know, uh, you can use those. And for the very last part of our activity today, that's what we'll be doing. So, um... Somebody asked, uh, Jennifer has asked, is there a certain strength or thickness of wire that works best? Uh, no, any, any wire. As a matter of fact, let me grab this. Technically speaking, your charge cable for your phone is a wire, and you can use that. Um, it doesn't have to be any special wire. Uh, essentially, what you're doing is just bending it, creating some shapes, and using that, um, again, as something to look at and observe and draw so the whole point being that um, as you're looking at it as you're drawing you're training your eye number one your eyes to observe and then as you observe you're training um, your hand to report that observation so all right so anyway let me get turned around here and get some other stuff set up so Oop, product placement. All right. So, there's that wire. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to get the wire out here for now. I'm going to leave it coiled up. We'll just sit it right here so we can see it. I'm going to grab a pencil. I've got a 5B. So... This would be a good warm-up drawing for to begin with. So here's our wire. It's our good warm-up drawing. And we're just looking at the wire. As you can see, it goes around and around and around. So really, all it is is a bunch of circles. Around and around and around. If you notice, there is one little loop over here. So we'll come out, put a loop there. And there is a loop or a piece coming up right here. So we'll include that. And that's a good warm up. That's also, again, the beginning of your taking what you're seeing, you know, thinking about it, and then telling your hand to draw it on paper. All right, so part two. Let me grab a little bit more wire here. This is where we'll get fun. So let's start off. Let's do a nice twist. And I'm going to take the whole roll. I'm probably going to regret this later, but it seems like a good idea. It seems fun. There we go. And this other piece will bend like that. And we'll spread it out a little bit. Let's see if I can sit up here all right there we go now it's a little bit more difficult a little bit more interesting so looks like some shapes like this again if you notice my hand's still moving in a circular motion because it's still a circle it's still a big loop and then there's the curled curled part in the middle 
goes like that and then this other piece at the end over here you can add a few more as you like darken it up and again another another great way to observe and report um, I've had a few folks ask about shading so I'll talk a little bit about that right now as you can see my light is is up here so the light source is coming this way in into the uh, into the wire I also have light coming from the window this way so I have several shadows they're predominantly here and here so if you want to do some shadows I like holding my pencil like this to do some shadows so we'll just do a few shadows like this and darken up the wire here in the back we go another thing you can do if you want to make it look very interesting is you can add you can't see the edge of the table but here in my drawing I'm going to add a straight edge for the edge of the table maybe the corner of the table there we go really simple get a couple different pencils now and I'm going to change our sculpture here so it's a little bit more difficult there we go now, if you're, if you're a kid and you're doing this, this is great. Mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever, I'm sure you're watching me going, oh boy, he's going to have fun later putting that back together. <laughs> yes, I am. So, all right. So now I've created a more difficult sculpture right here using the wire. And we're just going to start drawing. I'm going to use my whole page. Something I didn't talk about yesterday when you draw you have to consider your composition on the page so if you want to draw something really small I would divide your page into four pieces um, to kind of give you four boxes to work out of or in this case I'm going to draw as much as I can I'm going to try and draw in the whole page here so we go there's some basic basic parts of it there's some pieces that go this way and some pieces that go this way and then right here in the middle we have that original piece that we bent going like that and then there's another piece it's coming up like this and going around. Now there's another kind of drawing that you can do besides a wire drawing. Um, so and it's and essentially it will look exactly like this. I'm going to use my other page I had before. We'll come back to this in just a second. But a blind design, um, if I remember right, I'm trying to remember, I think this was uh, fourth grade, third grade, maybe even second grade art. I think it was actually his fourth grade art. Um, take your pencil, put it on your paper, close your eyes, and then just draw. Let your pencil move all over the page for a few minutes. And when you're done, stop, open your eyes. Now, anywhere you see a line that isn't connected to some point, connect it. I don't have, that's the only one, I think. Yep. And then the next thing you can do, um, I've got some colored pencils here. And since it's St. Patrick's Day, I'm not wearing green, but I have lots of green colored pencils. So, uh, for a blind design, what you want to do is you want to pick 
the shapes inside and color them. So we'll come through and we'll add spots of color th throughout this. There we go. And maybe a little bit more here. Switch colors. You can choose any colors you want. Um, I recommend keeping it to three, maybe four colors at the most. But you can come through, so for these wire drawings, you can come through and add color, make them more interesting. I'm going to go, I got a blue here too, I'm going to try a little bit of blue, break it up, make it nice. If you decide that you want to color outside the lines, that's also permitted. I don't want to be a, uh, I don't want you to be a conformist to, uh, on some uh, higher level. <laughs> so if you want to color, you want to color outside here too. That's fine as well. Your color can go outside your design. So that's the basic idea of that. So you can turn these wire designs into blind designs and add color. So anyway, back to our first wire drawing. I'm going to add a few other elements in here. This is for the um, advanced folks in the room. And um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the edge of the table in the background here, the edge of the table. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go all the way across and then come this way. I'm also going to add some of this chair that's over here to the side. Again, these are really simple lines, but it, it gives it a, a space that it's living in. I also have a cabinet back here, but I'm not going to draw the whole cabinet. I'll just put in parts of the cabinet. I also have, remember yesterday I talked about the hardness of the pencils. I have an H pencil right here. So I'm going to use this H pencil, which is a very, it's a, um, a very, it's a harder than the B because I was using a 8B to draw this. So, and with that, I can come through and put in some very fine lines of some of the uh, layers. It actually makes it look like there's a lot more uh, wire there. There you go, and now a little bit of shading. So you can do this at home. So one of the other things, so I was talking earlier about using a charge cable. Charge cables, um, if you're gonna use a cable cord or anything like this, please make sure you ask permission first. If you're, again, for those under 10, well, probably under under 60, you need to ask permission. Maybe over 62. <laughs> so. so a little something. These things like to, uh, they don't like to lay flat or take instruction very well. They're, they're kind of like I am. Um, they just sort of do their own thing and uh, hope it turns out good. So. So we'll lay this up here, try and get it to, to, sit, to sit flat. All right, so then I'll just draw this, same, same concept.
we'll go around it again kind of double up the line and again since it is St. Patrick's Day here's some green And a little bit more green. Let's see. Let's put that H pencil away. Let's go with a softer pencil. There you go. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Um, again, ask permission. If you want to use that. Um, also, don't forget in the comments below the video, feel free to post your drawings. Um, had some great responses um, yesterday. Uh, several folks uh, posting drawings and stuff. Thank you for doing that. Um, also, again, any requests. Oh, that reminds me. I had a request yesterday. Someone asked to draw a chandelier. So real quick, a chandelier. We'll start off with a circle. We'll start off with a couple lines like this. Letter J, if you, if you need a reference point. We'll put another line here. A couple of squiggly lines, circles going up. Um, some flat spots here and our chandelier has some has some candles there we go and some more hanging down here there we go and we'll make this our uh, we'll make this our St. Patrick's chandelier with a little bit of green. So <laughs> there we go. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it today. Remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you again tomorrow at same time, eleven thirty, and we'll do some shade. Have a good day. Bye.